All right, are you ready for the before shot? Da -na, da -na 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 -na. Um, medical project. I mean, medical closet project. Here we go. Good morning, guys. It's good to see y'all <laughs> in the form of the screen on our camera. So, are you saying it's good to see yourself? Yeah. <laughs> But I, oh, I look oh. into our faces and I see the faces of the people. I'm trying to think that's really sweet, but also I can't figure that one out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I imagine that. I think I imagine that they're watching this right now. Uh huh. Anyways, hey, welcome to our day. I'm sitting up here on the third floor. Just finished editing the vlog for today. That was almost not words. <laughs> 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 Elijah's taking a nap. Okay, I need the camera. Oh, here you go. Because if I don't start this right now, it isn't going to happen. Okay, go. Do you know if there's a tripod? I need to deal with the medical closet. The time has come. Actually, that's perfect that this is tall already. Because... Are these the orders that were downstairs? Yes. Okay, cool. Okay, so maybe you heard Peter talking about that. I brought up some orders. He printed the shipping labels and then I wrote the notes on them. Then I brought them up because he needs to make some shirts so he can fill the orders. So there you go. All right, let's take this down. Let's try not to bang the walls and wake the baby up. Okay, I even brought another battery. That's how long I think this project's gonna take. But for you guys, it will be so fast. I'll be in fast motion. All right, are you ready for the before shot? Da -na, da -na 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 -na. <laughs> oh man. This closet has been such a blessing to us. I'm guessing it's meant for the husband to have a closet and the wife to have a closet, but in my case, for the medicines to have a closet. And over there, we use that closet for the clothing. So here we go. I'm not entirely sure where to start with this issue. And the camera, yeah, this is just not, let's see. This isn't even, all right, well, first I look down and I see an empty box of Trikafta. Still, I'm still saving them all. I think I have a problem at this point. I have this ginormous cardboard box right here, and that is um, full. I'm okay with it though. Some people think I'm obsessed with this, but I'm okay with it. I am obsessed with it. And I think that's a, it's an obsession that isn't hurting anyone. I don't know. <laughs> What is it? Okay, let me actually figure it out. Okay, so these are the packages from the, for my body, life-changing medication. And whenever I finish a week, pop out all the pills, I keep the package. And I think it's partially like, you know, it's a sense of accomplishment, but maybe in the back of my mind, I like to think that these are a teaching tool because I have sent them to one or two respiratory therapy classrooms, like college class, college, not college, it's after college, respiratory therapy schools as a visual example when they talk about cystic fibrosis and when they talk about trichafta. And um, so I like to think that these are a teaching tool, but I'm not sending them to the respiratory therapy schools across the U.S. or across the world because they haven't asked for them. But if they do, I have enough to share. So then I need to pull the box down and throw it in the top. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Part of a potty can go elsewhere. So basically what I have going here is this is a bag 
that I took to my last infusion at the infusion center. And so I need, I'm going to keep that bag ready for the infusion center. Um, prescription bag that's empty. All right, this is going faster than I thought because that just took up a lot of room unnecessarily on the floor where most things end up in this closet. But this closet is so wonderful because I can do that. I can get a new prescription or like box of, you know, IV supplies and I don't have to sort it out right now. I can dump it on the floor. I mean, gently place the bag on the floor and deal with it later. So nice. It's like such a gift. In other homes, I haven't had this sort of luxury of a whole medical closet. It's wonderful. So, okay, the other thing I have in here is a foot bath. Doesn't need to be in my medical closet. I use this foot bath for my friends who are pregnant and I do like pregnant mama spa day for them. So they come and they put their feet in the um, foot bath and then when they're done, I dry their feet off and I do that uh, like a uh, heating pad on their neck and like massage their back and the whole thing. And anyway, so I do use the foot bath, but I'm gonna put it in the bathroom. Okay, this is going well. Now, you know, when the anaphylaxis kit from IVIG expires, they send a new one. But then I'm like, I'm not gonna throw away all this stuff. That's, there was just one thing that was expired. And then I have all these extras. And then I hang on to them and they stay in a bag in the closet. But I will have it if I need it, which I won't because I'm not doing IVIG at home anymore. Facts. Um, I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. This closet, you're not even gonna recognize it. It's gonna be wonderful. Wonderful. But I feel this like, okay, I gotta do this fast because Elijah's asleep and I need to do this quickly and efficiently while he's asleep. I just found, let me turn you around. Let me put my Dexcoms up here. I mean, my sensors up here. Then I'm going to turn you around and I'm going to tell you a story from when Peter and I were dating. No, no, I take it back from before Peter and I were dating. So I was probably 14 at the time. You ready for this? Do you see? This clothespin right here, <laughs> it says, don't die. So in high school, Peter was in a really potentially severe accident. Thankfully, he wasn't hurt. And I don't think the other people were hurt either. I think an underage driver ran Oh, we should ask him the details, but I think that the underage driver ran through the red light and T-boned Peter, if I remember correctly. It was bad. And after like a week later or something, I saw him at youth group and I was like, oh my goodness, I'm so glad you're okay. And I guess we were, it somehow it became this like sort of joke. It's not a joke, but we were like, don't die. Oh no. Like... And Peter was in a couple of accidents during high school. So maybe that it like piled up to this, this phrase, don't die. Anyway, we were, oh, I hear my baby. We were supposed to write something on a clothespin and pin it on somebody. And I, man, I'm really forgetting the details because it was like 20 years ago. But um, anyway, don't die. I have that on a clothespin from that time period of our life. And thankfully, Peter was okay. Hi, baby. Hi, sweetie. Come here. Hi. Good morning. You had a good nap. Did you have a Did you have a good nap? Oh, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Good morning. What's in your crib? <coughs> what is that? It's the camera. That's so silly. <laughs> That's so silly. 
Oh, little smirk. Yeah. Hey, babe. Yeah. He woke up. Okay. <clears throat> so if we want to run our errands, yeah. I'll do the uh, medical closet later. Although I did get a little bit of progress. Can you, I was just, I found the little clothespin that says don't die from high school. <laughs> so I think I was unclear on the details of your accident. Um, I was driving through town. I had had, this was my first car, a Chevy Cavalier purple. It was a good deal. Um, <laughs> driving through town, I had had it for three days and a guy ran a red light. It was downtown, so it was like buildings up to the corner. So look kind of low visibility. Guy runs a red light and I T-bone him. Oh. After I T-boned him, the truck flipped, or it, I guess it didn't flip, it turned on its side. And it was kind of crazy, because like that truck was on the other side of the intersection, and then I my car was totaled. It was, it was a crazy night. Anyways, so did you tell them the story of the clothespin? Details. I don't really know the details other either other than you gave me that clothespin that said don't die <laughs> Because I was in an accident. I don't know. You were in a couple of accidents. I've been known to have an accident or two in my lifetime But not in the last 20 years 20 years not in the last What how many years 13 years? Yeah, hey bud <laughs> Hi do you want to say hey to the people? Say hey guys. You're cute. Did you have a good nap? What time is it? Okay, we're gonna go run our errands. All right, we have got all the things done. Mary finished her medical closet. Yes, update coming. Update coming. Uh, we've been driving around town, dropping things off, picking things up. We borrowed a bassinet from our friends when Elijah was really young. I mean, he's still really young, but when he was really, really young. <laughs> and we're going to go drop that off, but first we're going to... We dropped off mail, yep. store donations, and the bassinet. And the bassinet and a marketplace pickup. Oh, yes. I don't even know what you picked up. It's a, it was free, and it was a baby drum set. Oh, fun. <laughs> That's super fun. And, and yeah. we have $12 left from a gift card that our friend gave us. So we're picking up some Chipotle for dinner. We're sitting here, and they didn't have any kids. Um, I guess this music's gonna be really loud. And they didn't have any kids seats, so we're just like, we'll sit in a booth and Elijah is doing great sitting up. I just wanted to document, this is his first time eating out. We're giving him some of our guacamole, smashed black beans with some sour cream. You, you're living your best life, aren't you? You're living your best life. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> First time eating at a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we were discussing if adults ate like babies and like including that sort of stuff. Where we might take a bite and they were like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like their protective reflex to spit out if something's too big or something. Then you just like spit it out and then you just pick it up and eat it again. <laughs> Yeah, man. You got food on your face. Mmm, mmm, mmm. First piece of cheese. Oh, first piece of cheese. <laughs> I mean, he had ricotta cheese, but I'll take that. Yeah, man. Way to go, buddy. <laughs> Good stuff, Mom. Mm -hmm. 